Hey everyone, how's it going? So, this is KON12, and I am so hyped to play this game. I'm not even I'm not even joking. So, this is Skies of Arcadia. It's one of my favorite GameCube games of all time. It's an amazing RPG game. It actually used to be it was originated originally on the Dreamcast, and it was ported to the GameCube and redubbed Skies of Arcadia Legends. So, I bought this game, what is it, 12 years ago now? I think it was released in, what, 2002? Something, I don't know, maybe even before that. It's a really old game, and it's one of my favorite RPGs of all time, so... I'm just, I'm so happy to play this game. I'm, I'm very excited for this game. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Rumble feature? Uh, yeah, sure, why? Why not? Alright, so this is a really good turn-based RPG. I'm just going to let this cutscene play out. Oh man, I can feel my controller shaking. This, is, this reminds me so much of Star Wars. Where the Star Destroyer is just chasing the tiny ship. So this game's got very old graphics. Uh, it's, it should be pretty obvious. The characters are mostly flat, but anyway, I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to play this game. So they're gonna kill this girl. Oh, never mind. No, they're not gonna kill her. They're gonna quote unquote question her. Ready, all cannons. Open fire! Those are big old cannons, too. Oh, they're magic cannons. Apparently, they hit the area around her ship, and that caused the ship to stop. Nice view of the uh, beautiful graphics of this game. They, I think they preserved the Dreamcast graphics. This guy just, this guy looks, he looks evil. He looks like one of those people, oh, oh, what's going on? What, what's happening? I mean, just look at his face like, what am I gonna do? That's beautiful. That's a Kodak moment right there. Capture that expression. Sir, by moving my wrists carefully, I'm able to detect there's a small ship hiding in the clouds over there. Alright, so air pirates. That's the whole purpose of this game. Here we are, our heroes. So, air pirates are good and bad. The heroes, naturally, are the good kind. They're like the Robin Hoods. That ship looks flimsy compared to the big metal one. But looks aren't everything. Alright, here's our hero. His name is Vice. That's a- that is a dangerous leap. He's like, yeah, that's the whole reason why we're doing this. Oh, he's got the spotlight on him too. It's showtime. He's not alone. It's Pippi Longstocking with a boomerang. So this is this is Vice's best childhood friend. Her name is Ika. Hey. hey! So 
So it's battle time. Oh, I got like shivers down my spine just from hearing this battle music. All right, so this is this is the I'll explain the battle system as we go, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out as it is. So it's pretty simple. Uh, it's turn-based, basically. You get you get to choose who to attack. You choose commands for everyone before they all go. So it's not real time. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and gang up on this guy. Boom! Critical hit. Ouch! I'm so scared. I'm gonna give Vice the... well... I'll give him the green. Why not? I'll switch Ica to red. That's what I usually do. So we're gonna kill this soldier off here. So he's guarding this turn. Enemies can... you can guard and enemies can guard. And he's dead. Wow, it doesn't take much to level up in, in this game. So you'll notice I also got some points. There's like green and blue and red and yellow and purple and silver. It'll become apparent what those are later on. I'll explain it as we go. Basically, we just kick some butt. Well, it looks like it's not quite two. Oh yeah, it's Dine. This is Vice's dad. He's the captain of the Blue Rogues. Some insistent terminology there. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Captain. Let's go! The, this doesn't really do the game's sound justice, but... The music in this game is really good. It's, it's always good. In most good RPGs, the music is really good. So we have free reign to walk around. One thing I like is that Vice's animation stops. You can like see his feet stay still for a while before they it finally stops him and puts him still. I just find that funny. I hear treasure chests. So I got a Sacri Crystal. So, how do you bring up the menu again? Oh, you can use a third person. I forgot there's a third person view in this game. So, you can look around in this game. How do you bring up the menu? Oh, you press X. Okay, that's it. So, you can see the stats of the characters. It displays all of them all at once, which is amazing. Uh, so, you can see what the stats are like, what the equipment is, what the accessories are, experience, and things like that. But right now we can't- we can save, I guess. No, we can't save yet. What are the options here? I never actually bothered to do this. That's pretty simple. So we can't heal yet, but we got an item we can use to heal. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We're not gonna waste any time. Turn the camera- you can turn the camera with the C-stick. So now we're in a battlefield area. Oh! Oh, it looks like he found us. That was quick. This is Alfonso. He's a pompous fool. He thinks he's someone good. Because he captured a girl. He even has a jerk laugh. I love his expression. The expressions in this game always get me. Like Vice's expression, he's like, "No way, dude! No way!" I can sitting there like, Vice, it's a girl. You've seen girls before. Just calm down. Oh, there we go. Dispose. 
Dispose of them. Dispose of them. And we're under attack. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Alright, we have access to special moves now. I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. So let's go ahead and start moving forward. Kill off these enemies. We don't have anything to worry about at this point in the game, so we're just gonna move and attack. You can also see party members in the background will start playing out actions. Also, I missed. Wow. That's pretty unfortunate. They're beating up on Aika, I guess. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Aika doesn't have a special move yet, so I'm gonna have her guard. There we go, block it. Sometimes you'll counterattack. So there, I just did, I just did a counterattack. You can only counterattack, I think, if you guard. I don't remember. I'm sure I'll find out. But now there's only one left, which is good. So let's take him out. I'm really close to being able to use Cutlass Fury. In fact, I might just show that off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it off. All right, it's Cutlass Fury time. This is a killer move. It's a special move. It does, it does ludicrous damage. So let's do it. It doesn't look like a lot of damage. I think he was guarding. But it does a ton of damage. Vice? That was easy. Vice is your main source of damage in this game. Alright, both of them leveled up. So here's the stats. You get a lot of HP in this game. So it'll show you what you get. And that'll be that. Alright, so the crystal, the whole crystal thing, there's gonna be more fighting going on here. Let's see, there's some treasure chests here too. Here's something. Is that it? No. You can observe, you can um, examine some things sometimes in this game, but we haven't reached anything yet. Alright, we got two Sacri crystals. Can we use items yet? There you go. Oh, you have to go to the person to do it, that's it. So you can use Sacri crystal. It heals a lot. It'll, <laughs> it'll overheal anyone we have, but I'm not worried at this point in the game. Not right now. Maybe in a bit, but not now. Is that all the treasure? I think I got all the treasure. Alright, let's go back up. Yeah, so battles are random. The Dreamcast version actually had very, very frequent random encounters, and it was kind of dumb. Also, that's a back attack. That really sucks. Oh, they're really beating up on her. Might have to heal, actually. Yeah, she's getting kind of low. Alright, so let's do this. Vice is raring to go. I'm gonna have Ika guard. Actually, I'm gonna, have her, I'm gonna have her heal just in case. I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed that I have to heal this early. I'm getting pretty unlucky right now. That was pretty weak for a critical hit. Counterattacks always hit. That's important to note. Alright, now we're doing much better. So let's go ahead and gang up on these guys. There we go. Do you see Vice dodging attacks in the background? I love how, how the game just sort of plays that out. Alright, it's Cutlass Fury time. One of these guards is gonna die. Alright, I don't know which one it was, but they're gonna die. You can also skip animations by pressing start. Yeah, he totally died. Hella's Fury is just stupid. It does so much damage. 
Is it over already? Rank up. What does that mean? Ah, okay. So here we go. So the color of the weapon you use adds points at the end of battle to a character's uh, crystal total. I don't even know what to call it. But let's see here. Can't go that way. So we gotta go this way. How did you beat my soldiers? Oh, if you want my ship that badly, you can just have it. Wow. This guy really is a pompous, arrogant fool. What a jerk. So we'll catch up to him, but first let's get the rest of the treasure. I got 50 gold! Can I examine this stuff? Not yet. Is there treasure over there? No. There is none. Alright, well, we're just gonna keep going. So anyway, the crystals, as I was explaining previously... The little crystal levels... So let, me, let me go to the menu here. So, the... Can I show it? There it is. Okay. So these correspond to crystals that characters have. As characters join, they have a certain crystal color. And so if you you can equip your weapon, it's basically like elements. So you can use elemental weaknesses or resistances based on what weapon crystal you or crystal uh, element you have on currently. So whichever ones you have. So right now, Vice comes with the green one and Ica comes with the red one. So you can switch Vice and Ica between green and red, and they can share the same crystal color. So you'll notice that there's a, like an ex a separate experience points ranking for each of them for all the characters. So as you rank them up, you in each element you gain certain skills. For example, Ika acquired a magic ability, Pyrie, so she can summon a burst of flames. Right now, the thing is, the character that has that element equipped, they actually get more points towards that crystal element at the end of battle. But all the other allies will also get it. They just won't get as much. So here's a save point. Let's go ahead and save, why not? Dun dun dun! Alright. So there's our first save. It's over here, I wonder. Oh, this is, uh, I don't know where we are here, but... Unfortunately, there's no way to speed up going up or down ladders, but it's okay. So the front door was blocked, was locked. There's no way to get in. That's why I went down the side. So this guy, he's running away. He's a chicken. He's a real chicken. Thank you, nameless henchman. Oh, wait, what? I'm gonna kill you. Wow, this guy really is a world-class jerk. You can't do this to me! I was going to retire you tomorrow! No! Ouch. And he acts so high and mighty like that was a, a significant move. Who's there? Hello. Draw your blade, you car. <laughs> I 
love that face. So we have to fight a giant thing. It's not fun. Oh, snap. That that's a that's a big So this is the first boss in the game. It's actually difficult if you don't know what to do. All right, here we go. Epic boss. So, one of the perks about this game is that the music actually changes depending on the situation in the boss battles. All right. So, Vice is a little weak right now. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually guard. We're going to guard both of our people. We're just going to keep guarding. So he used Thunder of Fury. This is a very powerful move. This is why you want to block it. Alright, we're very close to being able to have Vice use his Cutlass Fury. That's what we're working for. So yeah, Thunder of Fury is not a fun attack. But now we're ready to use Cutlass Fury, so let's do it. I'm actually going to have Aiko use a heal. I think she needs it. What's the, what's the magic droplet? So you press X to see the description. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and heal. Let's try this. Much better. Assess damage. <laughs> That's a great move. Okay, great. Alright. Yeah, so this is your boss killing move. Looks weak initially, but it'll start doing some pretty significant damage. Alright, he's clearly not targeting Vice, so I'm gonna go ahead and risk an attack here. Except for the fact that I keep missing. There we go. Get a nice little counterattack in. So this boss looks really powerful. He's actually not very powerful. So I'll skip this. Bam! It actually did a little more damage than last time, I think. There we go. So the music changed because I'm winning the battle. That's what that translates to. So Aika has magic points. She's got four magic points. I'm gonna go ahead and use Pyrie to try to damage the boss. Pyrie is the fire element and it will damage... it specializes in damaging all enemies on the screen. So that was pretty good actually. Unfortunately he decided to target Ika. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, that's painful. So we're gonna go ahead and guard here. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and keep guarding. So, Thunder of Fury. Music changed. Because it thinks I'm in serious trouble right now. I kind of am. I'm actually, yeah, I, I'm in danger here. I'll go ahead and heal... I'll heal Aika. I'll have her heal herself. So yeah, I've been pretty... I've been pretty unlucky so far. Yeah, Vice is hurting. You can tell. And here we go. We got Cutlass Fury up. We might be able to finish the boss this round. So the thing is, you'll notice I can't use magic. Why can't I use magic? Because... Magic points, you see the, the number there? It says 2, right? There's like a spe it's called the spirit gauge, I believe. And it is the the bar on top of the screen. Let's see here, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to beat this guy up. That might be enough to kill him. Come on, man, you got this. 
Take him out. Alright, I think he's vanquished. That was kind of close, actually. That was a tough fight. That was a pretty tough fight. Alright, we leveled up. Great. I was only level 2. That's probably why it was so tough for me. But we won. Alright, Aiko ranked up her green, which is Sakri. Sakri is a healing spell. We also got a Moonberry. What does that do? Well, we'll find out. So he totally trashed his his Mecha Bowl. Curses foiled again. I'll get you next time. So yeah. The jerk gets away. <sighs> A bad one? What do you think? So, uh, they own the ship now. Yeah. They got a ship. They're on a boat. And it's theirs. Oh, right. There's a girl. This is, this is, uh, the girl's theme playing right now. Hmm, I wonder. Whoa, what's this? It must be a flashback of sorts. Maybe it's that girl's flashback. It's like a futuristic, like a Star Trek-y kind of room with a side table and some thimble chairs. Finna, there's a name. Finna, you replace Rami the moon. What? What does all this mean? Elder? What? Don't trust anyone? Elder. Ah, oh, I must have been F Finna. Whoa! We always help people, cause friendship and adventure! That's pretty much Aika in a nutshell. Hi, I'm Agent Aika. What's your name, girl? So yeah, this is this is Finna. <laughs> so you have a choice of what to pick. Um, Vice gets a rating in the game depending on what choices you make in situations like this. It's called the Swashbuckler rating. The higher his swashbuckler rating gets, the better the title he gets. The people will start like, "Oh man, dude, you're a legend!" Like the the the, the more well known he becomes. So you have to pick the right answers, though. So the right answer in this case is that's a great name. You'll hear a little, uh, little bonusy sounding noise if you get it right. So you'll hear it here. What is she, a motionless girl? <laughs> oh, she, she did laugh, wow. She does have emotion, okay. What is an air 
pirate? She doesn't know what an air pirate is? Uh-oh. Yeah, they're like, what planet are you from, woman? <laughs> that doesn't say very much good for you, Vice. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah, she's like, what? Wait. But yeah, they're the, they're the good kind of pirates. You can tell which group is evil, like black pirates. I mean, come on. We take from the rich and give to the poor. Or they keep it. <laughs> Never mind. Or they do give it to the poor. Okay, so there. So this is Robin Hood, and Ica is his merry woman, or something. I don't know. That's an interesting communication device. She's like, what have I gotten myself into? Who are these people? What am I gonna do? So yeah, we've, uh... We can talk to people too. Can I go back in? I wonder if I can go back in. Oh, I can. I guess not. Yes, yeah, so, so you can examine stuff in this game. It's a talking tube. I can just see him like trying to explain to the player, this is a talking tube. This is connected to the bridge. And then his father is like, what are you talking about? Get over here. But yeah, that's pretty funny. So we can go wherever we want. In here, I don't even know what's in here. It's in here. A bunch of cannons. Yeah, so here's where all the ammo is, apparently. Barrels, they store food in barrels, like like true pirates would, right? Turn the camera. There we go. Who's this guy? It's Luke. Yeah, Alfonso was not really much of a leader to begin with, so it doesn't say too much about it. Yeah, thanks for the exposition, mister. As if we didn't already know. What's this barrel? <laughs> He's like, what is this? What's going on? Who put this here? Is that it? I think I explored the rest of this place. Oh, there's a door here, too. I didn't go in here. There's a bed. Can you can you rest in it? No? Apparently not. Alright, there's nothing in here. Well, that was a waste of time, but that's okay. Because this game is all about exploration. So let's go up. Ta-da! The main deck. So we'll talk to Vice's dad once we're done. So let's go around and just see what's going on here. Who's this guy? It's Briggs. Oh. Apparently we're able to continue going. <laughs> How do I steer this thing? Sure. So this this is what this game is all about. Like this is the this is the best feature of this game. You just go around and explore. It's really fun. 
So L and R control your altitude. And the C I'll be using the C stick because it's it's better. It's more intuitive. It's pretty easy to do it. And that's it. You can go back in. So you can actually go back to the bridge. You can also save anywhere you want. So I can talk to people. Here's Landis. So he warns you about Sky Rifts. We don't have to worry about them yet. Basically, they're blocking. They prevent you from going to certain areas of the game in the beginning. It doesn't actually crush you, but it's pretty significant. It's a plot device, basically. So here's a map. Who else is up here? Just Vice's dad? Oh, I guess that's all he has to say. Alright, well let's go ahead and take the wheel again. To Pirate Isle! It, it's literally just straight ahead. So he said south. We're almost directly south, so we'll go this way. Okay, now I found a discovery. So when your compass starts to spin like crazy, you're near a discovery. If you press A, you'll find a discovery. Someone with the name of D was buried here, it looks like. So the Sailor's Guild is like a place, it's a hub, basically, for information that's in pretty much every town. And so if you visit the Sailor's Guild, so they'll explain here. Basically, there's a lot of discoveries to be made in, in the world. And our job, <laughs> well, not our job, but we will be discovering quite a bit in this game. And the Sailor's Guild, if you discover something, they'll pay you pretty handsomely. Now the problem is, you can, uh, if you don't find it before other people do, you get much less reward for it, which makes sense, right? Like, you'll only be confirming that it's there. But if you find it first, you get a lot of money. Yeah, so he says you gotta hurry up and get there to get the money. So we found a spot. I don't think there's anything else. There's some fish. We can collect fish. I always found that to be a pretty cute thing. So you can also get into random battles here. Oh, these are easy. Oh, it's a looper. Aw, oh, no one likes loopers. So I'm pretty damaged, actually. I gotta be careful. Gotta kill the Gasling. That's what I'll do. In fact, I'm gonna use Pyrie. So loopers are really, really annoying. Ow, that really hurt. Have a taste of your own medicine, sucker. So Looper's immune to it, looks like. Okay, good. He attacked the right target. So I'm gonna have Vice attack. Actually, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I don't know if Vice is gonna live. I hope he does. But I can use Sacri to heal Vice. Oh yeah, Looper's run away a lot. I forgot about that. Yeah, loopers are annoying. They're they're also really hard to hit. They're like the bats of this game, but even worse. We leveled up, so we got more HP. The problem is, it doesn't really fully heal you, I don't think. So we're kind of low. So on the map, you can use uh, certain abilities like Sakri to heal, and it'll it'll cost MP, but it won't cost you any spirit points in the in a battle. So that's why it's important to do it then. So yeah, we're gonna keep going south. Southeast. I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, so here's Pirate Isle. There's something flying around here too. Let's go what's this? It's a ship. So you can find merchant ships here and there. Sometimes you can buy stuff from them. 
But in any case, we're going to go ahead and go straight to Pirate Isle here. So here's Pirate Isle, let's go. This is like HQ. It's a really cool area too. Everything about this game is just really cool. There she is. The lady in white. She has big earrings too. Hey! Just goes, hey! Who said that? Oh, it's him! Island? Wow! Such a concept! It's so easy to to give meaning to the facial expressions of all the characters because their faces are so exaggerated. But yeah, you can tell the graphics in this game are not the best, but it's Dreamcast quality, so it's forgive it's forgivable, right? And the guy in the in the back is just like blah 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 blah. But yeah, this is their hometown. Whoa! Whoa! Now that is an epic garage. And they even got the guy signaling. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. That's a nice. Uh, a nice little detail. There. Did I mention how much I love this game? I love this game. Yeah, totally not an entrance. It's a, it's a scar. In the shape of a square. So we're in the hangout now. Ooh, all that all that treasure we got because clearly there were vases in treasure chests full of gold Also, you have to wonder what they did with that chip Oh, there are female pirates too Aye aye Yeah, it's certainly thrilling. So this place is it's pretty big, actually. That is a big cannon. Shh, it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, they got everything down here. All, all amenities. Oh, and there's Dine. Hey, Vice. Aren't you just dying to see me? Ha, 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 ha. Now come over here, boy. You gotta serve your detention sometime. Bring your girlfriend, too. Yeah, that, that that's kinda... Hmm... He beats me! Alright, so here we are. This is a pretty epic area. There's no random encounters in here. This is a big old pole. We climb it. It's pretty high. But we're gonna go around so we can we can explore this area. So here's the ropes. Yep. Explaining. Showing us the ropes. <laughs> here's all the treasure. For some reason they store it behind this wavy steel cage. Here's a save point. This is a good chance. This is a good time for me to save, actually. So, 
This was the first segment of my let's. By the way, I'm let's playing this game. I totally did not say that. <laughs> but in any case, this is this is a let's play, and uh, this is the first segment of my let's play Skies of Arcadia Legends. I'll probably just sort shorten it to Skies of Arcadia. But I'm so happy to play this game. I'm not even gonna try to do like a hundred percent run or any of that. I'm just gonna have fun playing this game because that's what this is all about, right? Let's play a game because you want to have fun, not because you want, you know, viewers or sub subscribers or any of that stuff. You do this to have fun. That's what this is all about, and hopefully to entertain some other folks, too. So, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for next time.